Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to convert your Google Sheet data into a JSON format and I am going to walk through step by step on how to achieve the same. So let's go ahead and create a new Google Sheet. Let me name this as Google Sheets JSON and here I am going to add some data and we are going to get the data in the form of a JSON. Let's say serial number, first name, last name and employer. So that's it. Now we have a set of data on our Google Sheet and now uh, we are going to convert this data into a JSON format so that you can create or you can make a get API and consume uh, the data which is uh, present inside the Google Sheet. So to do that, what you need to do, that's what we are going to see. Go to file and here you can see an option publish to web. Click on that. And here you need to select uh, what you want to convert, whether you want to convert the entire data into a JSON or just the selected sheet. So now we are going to convert sheet one into JSON. So I will go with the sheet one and how do you want to convert? Whether you want to convert it in the form of CSV, TSV, PDF or any other thing. But now uh, to convert this data into a JSON, we need a web page format. And once you select the sheet name and the web page, click on a publish. And here it will ask a pop up before publishing this Google Sheet. Go ahead and click on OK. And here you will get an URL. And if you click on that, it will get copied. And now this Google Sheet is successfully published to the web page and you can access the data using this web app URL. So if I put that web app URL, you can see uh, the data in our Google Sheet. And when you're converting the Google Sheet into a JSON, one of the important thing is header. So header is going to be an object and this data will go and store uh, reside within this header. And here we got the data in the form of a web page. But how do we convert this web page into a JSON format so that we can use that JSON in any other web app where you want to fetch to make that we need a format to convert that into JSON and this is the format which is going to help you to convert the Google Sheet into a JSON and let me change that to this one this should be an ID you can I will put that in a, a description so basically it starts with spreadsheets.google.com feeds list followed by id and od6 publish and values with alt is equal to json so once you publish your google sheet you need to copy the google sheet id and each and every google sheet on your google drive not only on your google drive each google sheet has a unique id so that you can use that id for references so this is my ID whatever which comes after D slash and whatever which comes before slash edit you should copy all the characters copy that and put it here in the place of ID and that's it if you put that here on your Chrome browser you can see the uh, JSON and this is something which we don't need so we need an object called entry. So this is where all your data gets stored. If you see here, GSX followed by uh, dollar symbol and the header name. So as I mentioned previously, all your headers are now converted into an object name and inside the object, you can find the values. So here we have used one Joe, Michael and Google. You can see that one Joe, Michael and Google. And in the second ID, 
here if you see here the second row gets updated here uh, not here this is a title we see here your second row gets updated here and this and this is the object where uh, all our uh, data on Google Sheet is stored and we can retrieve the same using the object name with a prefix of a gsx dollar symbol so that we will see in the next video so let me put that in postman as well and I will show you how it works in the postman I have created a new request and uh, I have selected the type as a get and you just need to put the entire URL here and click on the send and here you go if you see an object name called entry and inside the entry we can able to see all our data this is our first row and this is our second row and this is our third row in the next video uh, we will see how to uh, populate this data on a html page using a jquery and that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye